guys welcome back to my channel so today i'll be planning the week of november 9th to the 15th and oh my goodness i totally forgot to put the monthly thing on there oh my goodness um so yeah i'm using a paper candy art kit and i really love this art i don't know if he drew this or not um but i love the colors it's just like so soothing and so fall and i'm like i love it and i had to get the double box scene because of the tree and the bench and I was like this is beautiful so I sacrificed my bottom washi area for the weekend section um to put down that double box scene and I instead of putting um a glitter header at that small um, section I was just like I left it as is and this bottom washi is split into multiple strips so yeah it's not like a full um one point or one one and a quarter inch strip so yeah um, so I did have to, uh, also, um, I, when I designed this, I didn't have, um, more space at the top. So that's why my strips are a little wider, um, in space, um, at the bottom because of that. Um, but when you guys have your planners, um, it is like, you can fit two of the 15 mm washies, um, perfectly. So since I, I don't think this kit had deco. I don't remember. Or I didn't want to use deco because I didn't have the space. So what I ended up using was the strips. And I just laid it flush against the um, the date covers. And yeah. Um, also, this kit is in premium matte. So it was really buttery and soft. Um, so I had to kind of be really delicate with how I put the stickers down. And of course, silly me put down the wrong side of the strip. So yeah, I did have to trim off this area as well. Um, I just... I just wanted to use this art as much as I could. And I'm sorry if you can hear like a chopping sound. Um, it's my mom in the kitchen and yeah, um, it's not really a, um, I don't have a door in my room. So um, yeah. So here I'm just finishing up the date covers and yeah, it's really pretty. And I really love like, it feels like the f um, leaves are falling into the spread and I'm just like, I love it. I love this so much. You know what I always struggle is when I cut on the right hand side um, of the uh, page because you can't always get the scissor close enough to the page without trimming the entire page, you know, um, when it's coiled in, of course. So I think I'm going to work on the sidebar. Oh, yes. Um, so I did put down like the forest one in the sidebar and then I used um, a full box overlay that says, let's go exploring. I was like, clever you know <laughs> so i also did use some glitter headers also um this kit does not come with glitter headers um yeah it comes as an add-on so you do have to add it on i believe the kit itself is 19.95 so it's a really hefty kit so you get at least I think, 10 pages i don't remember i didn't count or, let me count right now i'm sorry if you just heard my dog snoring i don't even know if it was him snoring it wasn't me um i do have another kit yeah it does come with 10 sheets i'm like holy moly um and then the glitter header is separate um it's 3.95 for the glitter headers i think or somewhere around there but there is like a 10 percent discount um i think i got or no i don't even remember i bought this a long time ago um towards the beginning of um, November so now it's December now and I'm just like slowly trying to catch up um I apologize um so yeah I am also working in my vertical planners um so yeah and I alternated pretty much all of the glitter headers as best as I could I did decide not to use the glitter headers right on top of the double box scene I felt it was pointless and yeah and also removed the glitter header on Saturday um in the middle um because I didn't have much to mark this week. Um, I don't even know why. Or I don't think I remember what I did. Oh no. Saturday was just a very, very super lazy day. So that's why I didn't have anything to mark. And I also wanted to use pretty much all the full boxes. Um, so here I'm deciding where to put all the full boxes. Um, and I decided to keep two of them to see if I wanted to use them in another spread. Um, but yeah, I didn't put this kit in my D-stash yet. So yeah, I pretty much also, I also saved pretty much all the labels because they're so good. And you can use this kit like multiple times. 
um, even though you don't have date covers anymore. Um, there's only one set of date covers. So yeah. So here I'm just putting down all the full boxes. And yeah, I, I was debating if I wanted to put a, a, a extender, but I decided not to. And also for the um, the bottom washi, I um, did the opposite. So the shorter strip I put on the right hand side and the longer strip I put on the uh, left hand side so it extended into the sidebar area so I did have to trim up one of the full boxes um, down a smidge what was it a smidge almost like a three-eighths of an inch and yeah for the sidebar I put down the forest full box and then I layered a glitter header with the girl and there was two of the girls with the two different skin tones so yeah and then I put down the bow um, half box squared off box uh, I'm not really a fan of it, but I decided to just use it because, yeah, I did use it twice. Um, that's the only box I'm not really a fan of. And um, also, the it's really confusing because the glitter, the fancy labels, the inside glitter is different sometimes. I'm just, like, very confused, but I really like this um, art. Um, so, yeah, I was like, might as well use this. And I also tied in hollow foil. Um, I was thinking of rose gold, but I was like, I might as well use the... Um, same overlays that I used the previous week, um, but in hollow foil. So, yeah. And I think this looks really good with hollow because, um, if I used rose gold, um, I think I did tie in some rose gold. Oh, no. I tied in, um, silver in hollow. So, yeah, I don't mind mixing foils. Um, I'm not really a crazy person or, um, when it comes to mixing foils. So, yeah. Like, if it's needed, uh, if I don't have anything in hollow, then I will use another foil um, color. Um, as long as it matches the spread. So here I'm just using the um, bottom overlays, or the bow overlays from Scribble Prince Co. I do have some coming to my shop soon. I just have yet to finish designing it because, yeah, school is really kicking my butt, honestly speaking. Um, because I have, by the time you're watching this, next week is all my finals. Um, so... Yeah, it's kind of crazy to think that ugh, just two weeks left and then, oh my goodness, three weeks left. Um, or maybe? No, four weeks left. Oh my goodness. No, three and a half. Probably three and a half? Yes, three and a half weeks left um, till 2021. You know, 2020 has been a rough, crazy year. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited for new things to come in 2021 because I'll be graduating as well. And that's hella scary at this point. I keep saying it to myself. I'm like, it's going to be fun. And then I'm like, oh no, it's going to be scary because you're entering, truly entering the real world. Um, you got to find a job. You got to do all these things and be an adult, you know, even though I'm not, I, I am an adult. Um, so yeah. So here I'm just putting, uh, also I didn't have, or no, I decided not to use the, um, what do you call it? the fall overlays um instead so i just decided to use like the sparkly hollow and hollow um confetti or sparkle um headers from scribble prince co and i didn't do a good job at placing it but i was like well, whatever at this point um so yeah and for the sidebar instead of using that because i didn't have any extra of, of those i decided to use the what do you call it the bow ones um so yeah so here i'm just putting down majority of the full boxes and for the double box scene since i didn't want it to leave it plain although it kind of looks dumb dumb right now um uh, i used the leftover pieces of um what do you call it bottom washi with the fall leaves and pumpkins like right now and what i'm showing um so yeah it looks kind of stupid because the pumpkin is half cut off you know um so yeah <laughs> um oh well I'll just leave it as is. Well, I did leave it as is for like two weeks now. Um, so, yeah, so now I'm going day by day. So, for Monday, I marked down that it was my little boy cat. Um, he is finally six months old. Um, he was born on May 9th, um, 2020. So, yeah. And then I marked out my work hours. I'm not really a fan of this work label because it's all the same color for all of them so oops I'm sorry if I hit something and then 
I started from the bottom. I don't know why I always do this. Um, but I went to Mark Dancing with the Stars week 9. It was two weeks before the finale. And then I finished watching... Or no. I was almost done watching Station 19. I don't know. It just takes me forever now to finish um, TV shows. I'm like... I used to be really like good at it and keep track and make sure that I finish it. But I don't know. This month has been crazy. And then I also had a USPS pickup. I uh, should have used a munchkin instead but i used a bow i was like might as well use everything i can with this all the foil leftovers that i have and then i also marked down that was a lazy day um with a house icon um so yeah and here i also put down one of the full box overlays i just have a bunch of overlays from my foil book i try not to keep small sheets because i will lose them and then i don't know where it went and yeah and i will never see them again and I'm sorry if you can hear some background noise. Um, so on Tuesday, I marked down that it was my friend's birthday. I, I just know so many Johns or Jonathan because my brother's Jonathan. And now I know a lot of other Johns. And I'm like, oh my God, why can't I know other people's names? You know, uh, there's just so many people with the same name. Um, but anyway, I marked down that I had work. And I don't know what I'm doing now. Oh, I'm marking down I published a video for Wednesday. I'm so out of track. I never do things in order. I don't understand. So here I'm marking down that and then I was watching a new series, a uh, teacher, a teacher. It was actually a movie before and I was like very like, I don't know. It's on Hulu and I was just like, what is this? It's a te it's about a student and a teacher of having a an affair and yeah, I was just like, this is so old school and I know for a fact the why they did it based off of that time period, which was in 2013. Um, so yeah, I was just like, what is this? And I don't know why I keep watching it because it's so stupid and, uh, oh my God, I don't even know. I probably stopped watching it because I haven't watched it for this week or no, last week when you're watching this video. So yeah, and then I was watching Filthy Rich um, and then I read pretty much the rest of the night. So I layered two of the boxes that aren't even the same. So I was like, whatever at this point. And then for Wednesday, I marked down that I published my weekly plan with me. Did I not publish a video on Monday? Oh, no, because I couldn't finish anything on Monday and Tuesday or over the weekend because I only record my videos or do the voiceovers. Or I only edit my video when my brother is in here because he just refuses to wear um, headphones um, when he's watching videos. So I have to be accommodating. So when he's not gone, when he's, I mean, when he's gone that's when I can do things so yeah he he just doesn't want to wear headphones and I'm just like why can't you just wear headphones like for a few hours so I can finish editing these videos you know um but yeah he's selfish you know um <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna leave it as is and for Wednesday is also Veterans Day so thank you to all those ha that have served um even though um it's way past that day already but it was also my cousin and nephew's birthday or Kaysen is my nephew and Haven is my cousin um yeah I fun fact if I don't think I I think I mentioned this before but yeah I used to be the youngest but now Haven's the youngest um meaning in my grandma's eyes I was actually the youngest grandchild until my uncle decided to have children at 50 something years old I don't know was it 50 something? Yeah, I think he just turned 51. Yeah, I, I mean, no shame, but, uh, or no judgment there, but yeah. Uh, but there are some people, I find it hilarious because there are some people who said, oh, is this your grandpa? Um, I'm like, oh, <laughs> I just thought it was hilarious. But anyway, um, yeah, um, because my parents, uh, or I should say my dad, his genes are very dominant white hair immediately very young you get white hair and for example me i do get white hair um because of my dad um jeans you know <laughs> so anyway i totally passed when's thursday now oh my goodness i um since it was my nephew's first birthday um my cousin decided to do a zoom call with us and yeah and i also marked down that my parents got in a huge fight the day before but Instead of marking it on Tuesday, I marked it on Wednesday. So, yeah, I, when I look at, back at this, I will remember it was on a Tuesday, not at the Wednesday. Um, so, yeah, 
I was just like, this, this fight was so stupid. Anyway, um, for Thursday, uh, I published a paper candy art haul, um, and then I had a USPS pickup, and it worked from 9 to 2 because, yeah, my supervisor was starting to go on maternity leave, so she wasn't working as much, um, and then my coil punch arrived, uh, that was a hefty investment that I made, but I think it was a great investment because you guys blew me away with all the planner purchases that you made. Um, yeah, this punch has held up strong. Um, and then I did my nails. Um, I am, I am letting my nails, like, um, what do you call it? Not like, I don't do gel that much anymore. I just use the clear polish now. Um, because I don't really want the color anymore. And also I cracked my nail. Or my nail broke and I'm trying to let it grow out because it hurts right now because it's still connected. Um, and I also marked down that it was a nap time. And I always do this to myself. Why do I always talk about one day and then forever? Um, so for Friday I published my memory spread and I worked from 9 to 2. I watched Total Bellas and I was reading a bunch. And I finally, finally watch Chicago, um, uh, the trilogy, so, or the trio, not trilogy, Tri isn't trilogy for books and stuff, I don't know, but yeah, Med, Fire, and PD, um, so yeah, those are, that's the, sh I'm so happy it's finally on one day instead of three separate days, so when they do, um, the crossovers, like, it's straight through instead, so yeah, um, also, I'm, I don't know, what was your take if you watch Chicago, um, the trio um did you like just justice because i honestly thought it was like ridiculous because it was the same pop plot every single time i'm like oh i get it you prosecute and the, it was no like that much action compared to um uh, med fire and pd but anyway i got finally got my package from ollie clip and i don't know even know where it went now oh my goodness i don't know where it went oh no i found it is attached to my bed because my bed is metal <laughs> and then I had a YouTube binge um and then for Saturday I slept in I got a package from Amazon and I decided to use a full box because I didn't know what else to mark and I designed YouTube binge Sunday um oh my goodness I watched the holiday finally and then I watched um the crown was on Netflix um I only watched two episodes and then I gave up um I need to really sit down and probably after my semester ends that I'll watch it. And then I was packing orders and NASA and SpaceX finally launched Crew-1 to, then there was four people to um, the ISS, um, the International Space Station. So yeah, I was pretty excited. And it was also the People's Choice Awards. But anyway, this spread is finally over. Um, so I hope to see you guys next time. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys next time. Oh my goodness. I repeated myself twice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, bye guys. Bye.